Hi, I'm Mr. Kramer from MrKramer.com, and this is the first part of a lesson on how to size bolts. Uh, so, step one in bolt sizing is to determine which system the bolt belongs to, whether it's a standard bolt or a metric bolt. And the metric system is based on millimeters, and the standard system is based on inches. So, the first number that we're concerned with. And in either system is the major thread diameter. If it's in standard, it's the major thread diameter in fractions of an inch. If it's metric, it's the major thread diameter in millimeters. What's major thread diameter? It's the diameter on the outside of the threads. So, if we measured a bolt from here, to here, that's major thread diameter. So, step two, after you decide what your major thread diameter is and you figure out which system the bolt belongs to, metric or standard, if it's a standard bolt, we're going to figure out the space between the threads. And in standard bolts, we consider that threads per inch. So, I have two standard bolts in my hand here, and these are both 3 8 bolts. And I verified that by using my bolt gauge. So I found the hole that these fit in, and it fit perfectly in the 3 8 hole, both bolts. So both of these bolts are 3 8 bolts, but you'll notice that the thread spacing on them is different. So even though they're both 3 8 bolts, uh, one of these bolts is coarse, the threads are further apart, and one of these bolts is fine. So to figure that out, I get my bolt gauge back out. And if I look across the bottom of the scale here, and I find a 3 8 bolt, there are two possible sizes for 3 8 16 threads per inch and 24 threads per inch. So if I look at this 3 8 bolt, I can guess with pretty, pretty good certainty that because these threads are spaced so far apart that this is probably 16 threads per inch rather than this fine bolt right here. Right? So both 3 8 bolts, 16 threads per inch, 24 threads per inch. Now let's take a look at metric fasteners over here. So the measurement starts out the same way, major thread diameter in millimeters. two metric bolts right here. I'm going to figure out what their major thread diameter is with my bolt gauge. And what I like to do to improve my skill is before I even st stick it in the hole in this gauge, I look at it and I take a guess on which hole it's going to fit in. And I believe that these are 12 millimeter bolts. So I'm going to try it up here in the 12 millimeter hole. And it fits perfect. I have a second bolt. This is also a 12 millimeter bolt and just like the standard bolt, I've got two 12 millimeter bolts and the threads are not spaced the same. So when I look at my gauge and I come over here and I find 12 millimeter bolts, it gives me two possibilities, 1.75 or 1.5. So the second number that we concern ourselves with metric bolt sizing is called pitch. And pitch is the space between each thread. So these two 12 millimeter bolts have a possibility of having thread spacing of 1.5 or 1.5 millimeters or 1.75, 1 and 3 quarter millimeters apart. So the 1.75 bolt is going to have thread spacing that's further apart or the word that we like to use when we're looking at threads is coarse. 
the bolt that has closer spacing or fine spacing is going to be 1.5. So the way that I can verify whether this is 1.5 or 1.75 on the back of this, let's see if I can uh, get it in view of the camera. It's pretty hard. But you'll notice all these raised edges uh, simulating threads of different spacing. So if I come up here to the metric scale, I can find right here thread spacing of 1.75. I'm rubbing my fingers across it. And when I drop the 175 bolt in there, the thread should line up perfectly with all the bumps on the gauge. If I was using the wrong size, if I step down to 2.5, you'll notice that the threads do not fit down inside of the gauge. So that's a way for me to verify the thread spacing or pitch for a metric bolt. If I reverse this on the opposite side, are threads per inch the same way I can check my standard thread spacing? I hope this bolt sizing exercise is helpful. Again, this is just the first part and it takes practice. The more bolts you look at, the easier it is to identify their size.